Alright, this is part 13 of my Dark Souls walkthrough. I, I don't have any soul items. I really don't want to do this with the amount of souls I have, but... Oh, well. Alright, well, we're making our way back to the Northern Undead Asylum. And, uh, we're gonna go this way. And actually, actually, before we do that, now that we killed Ornstein and Smog, there we go, we have this guy. Hello. We're gonna talk to him. Oh, hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? I am the primordial of serpent, Ferrant. Close friend of great Lord Gwyn. Okay, uh, we're gonna go through a cutscene. There are two endings to the game, and the serpent has something to do with one of the endings. There's, uh, each ending gives you a different achievement. Um, I'm not gonna worry too much about the ending for the, uh, really, but, oh man, that is, that's a bit creepy. <laughs> that's like, it has like, Weird teeth and oh man, that place Lord Vessel. Yeah, we're gonna place the Lord Vessel here. Whatever, rest at Lord Vessel. Yeah, we're gonna warp back up to back up to Fire Link. All right, yep. All right, so now now we have four bosses uh, to kill. And when we kill the four bosses, uh, we're gonna get to the final boss. That's that's what we're gonna do. But uh, for right now, we're gonna do some of the optional stuff because there is a bit of optional stuff. Uh, the benefits of doing the optional stuff is uh, you will get more souls to level up. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Anyway, we're gonna go all the way back. Yeah, the, uh, what's it called again? I think it's, uh, I, I forget what it's called, I think. No, the Chaos Demon, that's right, yep. We're gonna kill that, oh man, oh, oh, we did it. Okay, okay. We're going up. Now, we are gonna go here, and we're gonna rest roll up like a wall and now we're here we're here again uh so what we're gonna do first actually is we are going to take uh if you don't have one of these uh don't worry too much we're using one of these because we're gonna get a dragon scale uh you do want at least one of these oh shit on you at all times uh so we're only uh, we're obviously only going to give one because you can only give one, but we're basically going to get a dragon scale and I'll show you how in a minute after we kill all these fucking hollows that are just relentlessly attacking us. But anyway, we're going to go to this nest over here. and This is basically a trading nest. We're going to take our... Room. Okay, we're going to give it the... Hey, Hmm. I, in other games, it was a bit easier. You had a button. Can we just? Hmm. <laughs> I think we just leave one on the ground. But we do want to keep an egg vermifuge. I am not pronouncing that right. We're gonna drop. Drop one. Do not drop two. Nothing will happen. Good if you drop two. Uh. Hmm. How do I trade with this bird? Did I? I may have missed something. I don't know. Um, if we did, we will go back. In the... Do we walk away from it? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe you have to like rest at a bonfire or something. Hold on. I'm just gonna do a really quick Google search.
Okay, alright, okay. Um, so pick one of these. Uh, we're gonna drop it into the nest. Uh, I just looked it up, quick Google search. Um, I've never really done this before, but uh, that's why I'm a, a bit confused. But yeah, we do this. We're gonna go over here. We're just gonna quit game. And we're going to go back in, and when we go back into the game, we should have a dragon scale. Uh, not really necessary, unless, you know, you're trying to use a dragon weapon. Dragon weapons are very good. Um, but yeah, dra dragon weapons are very, very good. Uh, they require a ridiculous amount of strength, but also they do a ridiculous amount of damage. But my strength is definitely not high enough to use any of them. But, you know, closer to the end of the game, actually, we'll, we'll probably have a good, a good level for strength. I'll get my strength up to, like, 40, probably. And then after 40, we'll... Did we get it? Did we get it? Fuck yeah! There we go. We got it. All right. Oh yeah, same as before when we came back here. Go to the side. Rest at a bonfire. Leave, and uh, yeah, we're gonna... Should I wear a ring of... No, I'm not gonna wear a ring of sacrifice. I should be able, although... I want to kindle it. You know, I'll kindle it if I feel the need to. Okay, we have to deal with this. Guy. These guys are annoying. Sometimes they'll come with you to the boss fight. Uh, they'll fall through the floor. But anyway, after resting, we're just gonna do that. Yeah, I hate how like every time you drop in, you have to immediately heal to get that health back. It's real fucking annoying. Yeah. Yeah, this boss is a little bit hard, not, yeah, just that main, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go to the back, do, 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 do. okay, it's gonna do that, uh, that attack, yeah, just every time it goes down like that, it's, uh, staff, just kind of get away, yeah, like, yeah, every time it slams down, that's gonna be your best bet for, uh, fighting the chaos demon, ah, oh, fuck, it landed on me, not, Probably not a good idea of me to roll into it, I forgot. Ah, oh, fuck! Okay. Okay, drink, 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 good. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh man, I'm still wearing the magic sorcery set. I, I forgot to take that off, but it looks like it's working well on that, uh, whatever that red thing is. I, I'm not sure what to call it, but... Ah, oh, fuck! Stop sitting on me, bitch! Drink, 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 drink. Okay. I did die to this guy a couple times on my first uh, walkthrough, or uh, playthrough of the game, not walkthrough, I never. Actually, this is my first Dark Souls walkthrough on YouTube. Okay, just keep, we, we've almost got him. I really hate going into boss fights with like 17,000 souls, but honestly, I don't want to spend time farming at this point. Oh fuck, I keep, why do I keep doing that? That's not good at all, that I keep fucking rolling into him. Oh fuck, he killed us. <sighs> Fuck. Really close to the end, too. Whatever, um... Whatever, why not just... 
I should only need to use like two humanities anyway. Okay. I'm gonna have to get that blood stain now. I don't want to lose all those souls because I don't even think he gives off that many uh, Kindle. Yep. There we go. I shouldn't need more than 10, honestly. Oh, wrong area. Alright, where is my blood stain? Time to play my least favorite game in Dark Souls. Where the fuck did my blood stain go? I hate playing that game. There it is. I found the blood stain. I'm gonna get that first before I do anything. Because I don't want to lose those souls. Honestly, like, I, this is, like, unrelated, but I kind of love how, like, Hollow Knight kind of just copied Dark Souls with, like, the, the recovering your, uh, your, uh, currency, like, in Hollow Knight, uh, you also, it, you, you have to obtain your lost currency before getting it back, kind of like Dark Souls. They actually did make it uh, kind of unique in Hollow Knight 2. You have to actually kill a uh, undead version of yourself to get it back instead of just picking up a bloodstain. But, you know, I, I kind of find it funny that, you know, that's... I'm pretty sure the devs took that idea straight from Dark Souls and like, you know what, let's put it in our game. Oh man, I should do a Hollow Knight walkthrough. I fucking love that game. Man, Hollow Knight is basically just... 2D Dark Souls, but like a little bit easier than Dark Souls. Uh, not by much though. Dark uh, Hollow Knight is still uh, pretty difficult. At least uh, the full game is difficult. The main game not so much, but uh, oh shit. Okay, the the extras you can do. Yeah, that's a bit harder in Hollow Knight. And I'm gonna need to get Hollow Knight on Xbox too if I do that, because I do want a gamer score for Hollow Knight as well, because I only have Hollow Knight on my Switch. Okay. There we go. Oh, I thought I killed him. Okay, whatever. There we go. You're dead. Bye bye. We can level up now, I'm sure. How many souls do we get? Just, uh, probably not too many. Humanity, Homer Bone, and. 20,000, okay, not bad, not bad at all. Alright, there we go, that's our next boss, and, uh, yeah, last, uh, last episode, uh, we killed two bosses, and one of them was also the hardest boss, uh, in Dark Souls, and, uh, yeah, that's how we spent the last, um, episode, okay. The next boss we are going to kill is not going to be too difficult. It, it, the next boss is really going to be a pushover. Uh, some people say she's difficult. Um, I'm not one of those people. I, I could swear that there's something to do here. I don't... Okay, right, ladder. Okay, I didn't see it at first. Kind of obstructed the view. Uh, nothing here, nothing here. Okay. Down here, there will be a black knight. Uh, I will go to the bonfire to uh, level up again before doing that. Um, okay, so. Okay, I know where we are. Okay, alright, that. That won't be too hard. Let's level up my. Uh, endurance is pretty high though, but it could always be higher. I should actually probably get my vitality up more, because my endurance... I have really good endurance, but it soft caps at 40. No, I'm, 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 I'm gonna get endurance up. I do kind of want to get strength up, but 
for the purpose of this video, I, I'm probably not going to bother with that. Um, there's another Black Knight here, just in case uh, you don't have a Black Knight weapon yet. Although at this point, you killed Ornstein and Smoke, so if you don't have a uh, Black Knight weapon uh, already, you probably don't need one if you already see them, but we're going to attack this guy. Maybe he'll drop something for us too. Although it looks like he's using the exact same sword, uh, so unless he drops the shield, I don't even know if this guy can drop the shield. Uh, he got a red titanite chunk, okay. Alright. Actually, I wonder if there is anything else to do. I don't... I don't think so. Actually, let's, let's continue on. Could have sworn there was a... There we go. That's what we need. The peculiar doll. That is what we are going for. The peculiar... Uh, peculiar... I have trouble pronouncing that word. But we got we got the doll. That's, that's what we need. That is a good thing to have now. Because that is what this video is going to be about. Pretty much. We just went here... Really quickly to kill that guy and then uh, get this. I don't think you actually have to kill that uh, that demon to actually obtain it. I don't think so. But uh, but yeah, we. And everything in this. Oh come on! Fucking hate these guys. Uh, yeah, everything in this game at this point is just just really easy compared to Orn, Steen, and Smog. I'm glad I got past that. Okay, I don't need to watch that every time. Alright, there we go. Actually, we could have just warped back to Fire Lake Shrine. Yeah, I, could, I should have just <laughs> done that lol. Um, only reason I did not was because I got used to not teleporting between bonfires. Uh, but yeah, we're going to teleport between a bonfire right now. We're going to warp to Chamber of the Prince. Yeah, that's where we'll uh, go. I'm not sure what Anne Orlando is going to look like now that I killed Gwendolyn. Uh, because I think something... Uh, oh, okay, nothing's changed. Uh, I'm going to share a fun fact about this game really quickly. Uh, don't do this yet. Or do it. Uh, you, you can choose whatever you want to do, but if you take a bow and arrow and you shoot her right here, we are going to do it later in the game, actually. I am going to shoot her later in the game with an arrow. Uh, she'll die after one hit, and basically, Anna Orlando. Uh, I'm not going to spoil what will happen, but uh, there will be more enemies that will try to kill you for doing it. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll just explain. It, it makes the whole place go dark. Um, you can choose to do it, you can choose not to. I wouldn't recommend it right now, just before we go to our next area. We're gonna get through our next area just, uh, before we do it. Uh, but at some point, uh, I'm gonna come back to this area. And yeah, we are, we are actually... Almost completely through the mid game. For the rest of the mid game, we're just gonna go to this next area, which, by the way, is optional. What we're doing right now is completely optional, but uh, there's gamer score tied to it. It's not difficult compared to what we just did, and uh, the benefit of doing it also is we will get a dragon scale in this area, and we also will get more souls. 
uh, from doing this. Uh, so anyway, we are just running down here. And we are just going to pull this. Gonna look at that entrance right down there. Yeah, that's the entrance. We're go we're going to that giant painting we saw earlier, and we're going through it. Uh, we can go through it now that we have that peculiar doll. Yep. All right. Perfect. This is in the exact place I want it to do. This area is going to be not all that difficult. Some people say the boss here is hard. I disagree with that, but again, different bosses are hard to different people, and different bosses are easy to different people, so, you know, just remember that. Uh, my opinions on the difficulty of each boss will vary from someone else's opinion, uh, especially the opinion that I have that the final boss isn't that difficult. That's probably my opinion that uh, no one agrees with. He's still difficult, don't get me wrong. I died to him a few times, but uh, definitely not uh, the hardest. And I, I'm like, imagine like I beat all these uh, from soft games. I then like made a tier list video of like easiest bosses to like hardest bosses at the end it would all be Sekiro all at the top and there would be like nothing from Dark Souls besides Ornstein and Smoke but anyway we're gonna examine this this time with the peculiar doll we're gonna go into the painted world of Ariamis uh, don't go back here uh, obviously we're gonna go straight and uh, yeah we're we're going to go through this uh, completely optional area that is an area that we do want to go through. Uh, there we go. So how much do I have to... Repair equipment, actually. Yeah, I, I repair things on occasion just to... Uh, I'm going to take off this armor and... Uh, Replace it with the Silver Knight just because the, the Silver Knight armor is pretty good. I don't think it's the best armor in the game. It is the best armor, I'm pretty sure, for lightning damage. Uh, but, you know, I'm just going to put it on. We don't really need magic resistance anymore. Uh, but, yeah. There should be another bonfire somewhere around here, but anyway, we're going to go up here. This this area isn't necessarily, like, easy, but it's, like, it's easy in comparison to some of the areas in Ano Orlando we've already went through. So it's basically, it's hard, but it's not, it's not hard, hard. It's not like, you know, you're going to break your controller throwing it into your TV or anything like that. It's not, uh, not, I'm going to take the Dark Souls disc and uh, break it, which is actually what I did to the Dark Souls 2 disc. Uh, my first time playing Dark Souls 2, I actually snapped the disc in half because it made me uh, so angry. Then I uh, ended up just buying the game again anyway. Uh, and uh, Yeah, it just became a waste of money <laughs> to do that, but whatever. Got to try to finger what? Uh, this is an Elden Ring. Um, we're gonna go up here. It looks like we already have enough souls to, uh, what the fuck? Okay, yeah, that's right. We have these weird creatures that have the body of a, of like a crow with the, or the head of a crow with the body of a human. What the fuck? That's weird. Okay, oh, oh shit, okay, yeah, these guys are not, okay, so, yeah, I don't like these guys, these guys can possibly throw something onto your head called a parasite, the parasite will, um, 
consume. Oh, I got toxic. Oh, come on. I forgot this area had toxic. Oh, man, that's. That is not good. Yeah, these guys be careful with. They can put parasites on your head. If you get a weird growth on your head that looks like that, you want to use an egg ver. Okay, I'm already getting attacked. Just uh, it's the egg vermifuge. It looks like a fuzzy acorn thing that we already gave one up to the to the bird. Oh come on, fuck's sake! I just okay. What what the fuck? Whatever. I'm just. I'm just gonna raw dog it. I'm not gonna fucking keep taking those because I only have a limited amount. Fuck these guys. Fucking hate toxic. It's like poison isn't all too bad, but fucking toxin just, just fuck that shit. And I, I forgot about those guys. I might just run to the end of this area just because it's those guys are. Real fucking annoying. Okay, can we jump? Nope. Fuck. Okay, well. We're just gonna try again. I'm just gonna homeward bone as my Estus slowly goes away. Because there's no way I'm going through all of it. Where the fuck did that guy come from? Why do these guys keep fucking showing up? Where the fuck are you coming from? Ugh. <sighs> Okay, run, jump, ah, fuck, okay, well, we'll keep trying, I don't know what's actually there, but, uh, has to be good, I'm sure. And that health bar just keeps going down. Oh, come on. Ah. Uh, gotta be fucking kidding me. There we go. Soul of a brave warrior. Okay, we are getting some more soul items now that we're down here. Oh, come on. Fuck these archers, too. Let's see what is down here. Thankfully, um... Thankfully, we don't have to, uh actually make it through this area without, uh, these rats look interesting. They are completely white. Okay. Kill that one. Okay, let's do our mimic check. Oh, come on. Seriously, I open a chest and there's some guy just attacking me. Gotta be kidding. Alright, not sure what those, not sure what the stats are on that, on that student. Um, <laughs> oh man, there's a really annoying area here that I, uh, actually, no, was that area in Dark Souls, or was it in Sekiro? I'm remembering an area that is not, you know, I'm just gonna Homeward Bone, back to the bonfire, level up, and then go all the way back, okay, let's Rest, let's, what should I level up? Um, endurance, that, that might be a good idea. <sighs> Once we get to 40, though, we're no longer, okay, so I think we want to open that first. I do want to avoid as many of those weird things, though. I really have a limited amount of those moss clumps, and I already used one already. Hopefully there's a place we can buy them up here. Ah, oh, come on. Fuck you, bitch. Okay. Oh my gosh, bro. Wait, no. There we go. Okay, we, we actually don't need to be up here. It's just I keep aggroing these fucking enemies. No, bitch. Stop doing that shit. Okay. Where is it that I go? We're gonna go up here first because it looks like oh not one of the oh come on. Fine, oh, whatever. Here you go. You're the fucking poison me. There you go, bitch. 
That's what you get. That's what you fucking get. Yep. Okay, another one. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of my... I really should have, uh, bought more pyromancies earlier in the game. Uh, I didn't, but I should have. I should have bought, like, the fire orb. Also, should have uh, remembered not to kill one of the uh, fire keepers before getting that uh, that pyromancy. But whatever. Uh, yeah, we're just uh, let's go out here. See what. Oh, there's. Oh, okay. I see. We have to cut that off. Then, ah, uh, seriously. Whatever. Oh, okay, that's the that's what we gotta avoid right there when it does that fucking breath thing. Okay. Oh, and I oh come on, how do I avoid this fucking shit? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Man, I fucking hate enemies that do toxin damage. It's just fucking bullshit, honestly. Whatever. Um. Fuck. Okay, well these guys are now coming up that we grabbed that. Not sure if that was meant to be an ambush, but uh, those were two of the easiest uh, to kill enemies that we could have picked. We're going to go down here, actually, try to make our way down. I think we can just YOLO it. Uh, yeah, we can. We can YOLO it. And we can open this. Uh, I think. Locked. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Locked by some contraption. You gotta be kidding me. Find a fucking lever <laughs> somewhere to. I think here. Oh man, and ah oh, fuck, things are chasing me, and the toxin is really. really getting to me. Um. Hmm. Where is that contraption? Because I do want to get it before I die again, and I am on a clock. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck you, bitch. Ah. Uh, whatever. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, don't go that way yet. Don't go that way yet. Uh, we will go and kill that later, but, uh, but not now. And we're just... We're gonna run, 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 run. We're gonna run, 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 run. Can we find the area? Go here. Go up. Do, 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 do. Not much to do there. Up, 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 up. Let's go up. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck you. Fuck you. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. How many of you fuckers are there? Okay. What's up here? Red sign. Okay, I don't know what that does, but uh, we got red sign. Oh man, I'm definitely gonna end up dead. Um, maybe that's for like invasions. I don't really play the game online at all, which uh, maybe I should. Oh man, whatever. I'm just I'm gonna die anyway. All right, we're gonna go through that white mist. Uh, see what's up there. I just I fucking hate having toxic buildup and just those fucking enemies are so annoying. I I forgot they were there because I haven't played this game, or at least the first half of the game. I, I played uh, the first half of the game like a couple months ago, and then I recently beat the game like less than a week ago, like I just beat the second half of the game, so I did, I'm not too familiar with uh, this part of the game. I don't I don't think I'm going the right way right now. And yeah, that Estus plus 5 though is uh, really good. 
Okay. Man, we have to make our way through this area. Okay, yep, I'm just gonna run past these guys. Because I don't have time for their bullshit. Oh, what do we have here? Soul of a Brave Warrior. We are getting lots of soul items. Yeah, no, bet you are not gonna poison me too. Poison isn't as bad as uh, Toxin, though. Toxin will uh, drain HP a lot, a lot quicker. Uh, run, 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 run. Uh, come on! Yeah, I really don't want to get any Toxin buildup. Um, kill him. On. I, I really should have researched the area a little bit more before going here, but you know, whatever. Um, let's see if we can just. Okay, well, we don't have poison build up, so that's, that's a plus. Oh shit, okay. Um. Oh, come on. Don't be kidding me. Okay, one of these guys. Oh, come on. See, I'm just circling now, not knowing where to go. I'm just trying to avoid these guys at the moment. Wait, I've already been up there. I don't need to go there. I just need to... That's right. That's where we want to end up. YOLO. Oh, that did a lot more than last time. <sighs> oh, come on. Why, why are all these fucking enemies just following me around? Like, come on. Like, I don't have time for this shit. Okay, what now? Okay. Alright, so I think... I think we have to, uh, yeah, that area is not fun to deal with, is it? Okay, what, what's here? It's locked, okay. Alright, not much to do here. Oh, come on. These guys are just, uh, throwing spears at us. Can we open it? Okay, we can open this gate. Is this a gate, actually, that's close to, uh, to the bonfire? It is. There we go. That was the gate I was trying to open. Okay, that's gonna make life a, a lot easier now. Let's go to the left here and see what this is. A uh, humanity. Nice. What's up these stairs? Ring of Sacrifice, okay. What does a Ring of Sacrifice do? Because I know what a Ring of Rare Sacrifice does. I don't know the difference though. Let, let me go check that. Uh, okay. So I guess... The rare ring of sacrifice just uh it can also nullify a curse. Okay. So I'm guessing if you die to like a basilisk or uh something then uh Ooh, what's that well actually? I'm gonna go down the Oh come on, bro. This fucker just spammed attacked. What the fuck? That's 
He's coming back up. We're gonna wait for him to come back up and kill him. I should probably go to the bonfire first, but you know what the fuck? Why not? Why not just YOLO it? Okay, that's right. Yep, we're eating. Oh, that was a weird glitch. Oh, we're in a skeleton area with more skeleton wheels. Uh huh. Well, I don't enjoy that. Uh, the skeleton wheels, honestly, are probably my least favorite enemies alongside um, basilisks. Basilisk, uh, skeleton wheels, and fucking. What's the other one? Those guys we saw earlier. Yep, those are the three I don't like. There's one of the enemies puts toxic on you, one of the enemies just spam rolls into you, and then one of the enemies just uh, curses you. So yeah, those are the three most annoying things to deal with in the game. Okay, I don't think we need to go down the well. Um, yeah, nothing to do there. We're gonna go through here. And can't open that door yet, but we can go up here. I think there is an underground area that uh, with some stuff we can get, but I'm also thinking I might be thinking of an area from Sekiro, because in Sekiro there's an area, an underground area we can go to that. Uh, but anyway, we're going to fight. A dragon, this guy right here. Not sure why he is, uh. Okay, alright. Okay, yep. This dragon is going to chase us. We want this. Uh, the dragon is a bit tricky, but. Not too bad. Yeah, again, we just want to get close. Whack it a couple times. It's going to shoot some kind of, like, poison vomit at us, but nothing too bad. Oh, okay, I did not see that my health just dropped that much. Wow. Okay, I was not paying attention, and I just looked at the health, and it was really fucking low. Okay. Here we go, go for the throat. I think you can attack its legs, actually, which which might be the better option to do, actually, than getting close up like I am. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can attack its feet right there. Yeah. There we go. And I believe it drops a dragon scale. Let's see. Oh, and 5,000 souls. Nice. Yep, dragon scale. Um, now that the uh, dragon is dead, there is a weird ass glitch in the game where the dragon doesn't actually despawn. It is dead, but it just sits here, and I think there's a way to remove it. I don't remember how. Yeah, but that is not supposed to happen. Uh, let's see. I think there's a way to remove it, though. How to remove dragon corpse dark souls. Okay, so... Alright, we, I guess, charge at it, and then right attack. That was not... I think we need a jump attack. Hold up. Not like that. We are... Hold on. Hmm. Let's try... Let's try this. I think we just need to... Nope. Okay. The tutorial I just looked up on how to do this is using a claymore. So, I'm going to use a claymore. And I think we need to... What do I need to do? Just... Hmm. 
Do I need to run? Hold up. There we go. That's how we do it. Okay. Now we kill the dragon. Not really. We already killed it, but now, now it's standing <laughs> up. Yeah, well, you are. Okay, so yeah. Um, we're gonna run at it, and then right after you do that, you're gonna you're gonna have to do this move right, right. No, right. Oh man, I don't even. Man, I can't even do it again. Um, yeah, you need to just uh hold the L down and yeah, you need to right attack it the way I did, which I can't even replicate. That is just weird. Um, but yeah, this way is easier. So look up a tutorial. Just look up on YouTube. Remove um. Dragon Corpse Dark Souls. Anyway, we're gonna go to our next boss, which of course we don't actually have to kill. We don't have to kill her. Uh, we're gonna kill her because doing so will give us gamer score. But first, we can talk. We're gonna talk to her first. We're gonna see if there's a covenant we could join. Because if there is a covenant, we can get gamer score. I don't think there is a covenant. Okay, there's not. So we're just actually before we do that, we don't want we definitely don't want the clay more now with no reinforcements whatsoever. Surprise. Okay, we're gonna cut off her tail though, because her tail does give a rare weapon. Alright, so cutting off her tail is gonna be hard. You don't have to do it unless you're going for the rare weapon achievement. But yeah, she's invisible, you can on, get her tail. I want tail. I don't want to do too much damage to her. Hmm. Get the tail. Yeah, she's not hard at all. Some people say she's hard. Um, I think that they're messing with uh, people on the internet because I've seen lots of videos where people like crossbreed. Uh, Pris uh, Priscilla is really hard. Yeah, we didn't get the weapon. Oh, well. I mean, we're gonna need to go into new game plus anyway. Um, to, uh, to get that achievement anyway, so I'll just, uh, get that achievement, uh, or get that weapon from cutting off her tail in New Game Plus. Uh, anyway, I believe we just, you know, we just go to the edge, and now we're out, and we got a homeward bone. Uh, I don't think we want to use the homeward bone, because I'm pretty sure the homeward bone is going to take us back to the painted world of Ariamis, and I definitely don't want to make it through that place again, because... Uh, oh man, I don't even have this. So I'm just going to run out of here. These guys are all back, and we don't want that at all. And it's already pretty late. Wow, okay. We're just going to run up here. We're going to get to our next bonfire. And we're going back to Firelink Shrine. And actually, I'm not going to use the souls to level up. I'm actually going to use them to buy something for uh, the next video, man. I got to go to bed now, though. Last video of... Of the night, wow. I really want to continue playing through to the end, but yeah, that's all. This is all I can do for tonight. Actually, no, I need to bring this down to actually not. But yeah, uh, you do need to have 20,000 souls actually to uh, get to the next part of the game. We're going to buy something called the Crest of Artorias, and we're going to use that because uh, it is going to be necessary to beat the game to get the crest of Artorias in it. Uh, you buy it from Andre for 20,000 souls. I don't want to farm those so I'm just going to use the souls I currently have.
And, uh, okay, yeah, we just have to deal with a couple of these guys that, uh, went to the bottom of this thing, but, uh, if actually are all the locations, I'm, I'm not going to go to Firelink. I'm going to, I'm going to buy the Crest of Artorias right now because I'm going to bed. And, uh, tomorrow I'm going to make the next video, but if I just get to the game tomorrow, I might not remember not to level up because I might just think, oh, I can level up. Okay, let's do it. And I actually don't want to do that, so... Huh. We're going to Sunlight Altar. Actually, I wonder if I can join that covenant yet, just to get that uh, uh, miracle. Because I think I'll need, like, eight Sunlight Medals to do that. Let's see... Yeah, I guess not. I don't really know how that works. Um, yeah, now now we're just gonna go to Andre. We're gonna finish this video off just by buying the crest of Artorias from him, and then our next video we're gonna go through that uh, that area. It is going to be fun. I feel like I may be playing the bosses a little bit out of order, although in Dark Souls you can like, you really have freedom to choose which bosses to kill first, but I feel like most people would have already uh, killed uh, tomorrow's boss um, before Ornstein and Smoke. But yeah, we're already, this is... Part 13, and we're pretty much already done with part 13. Wow. <sighs> Alright. Uh, time to buy the Crest of Artorias. We're definitely high enough power um, already with our level. Hello. Purchase. Item. The rest of Artorias. Okay, I'm just gonna use the rest just to, uh... Oh, man, yeah, I think these are unlimited. Well, we're gonna... I'm gonna get 21 of these, too, while we're at it. Um, mostly because I'm gonna need a lot of those for all the reinforcements I'm about to do. Okay, that is the end of the video. I'm gonna rest at this bonfire. Now we're going to, uh... Next video, we're gonna kill another boss that uh, is pretty difficult, but not difficult at all compared to Ornstein and Smoke. Actually, pretty easy compared to them, but that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Alright.